We are at the Lorton station for the Virginia Railway Express and we are doing a ribbon cutting on a new extension of our platform. Well, a few years ago, uh, our board adopted a, a plan to uh, grow the system and uh, we call it natural growth. And the idea was to uh, make our trains longer because we are about 90% at capacity. Uh, but to make it efficient so the trains aren't waiting in the station too long, we wanted to make all of our platforms longer. Uh, district, uh, this community really is here because of this station. This is one of the most busy uh, freeway sections in the country. Uh, VRE uh, parallels Interstate 95 in this location. So VRE really takes, uh, takes a lot of people into the core of the region uh, during the rush hours, right when you need the extra capacity. The service VRE provides is a very important part of Fairfax County's transportation <coughs> network. And I'm really proud to have such a success story here in our county. And so uh, Fairfax um, just built another uh, part of the parking lot. And so with that uh, uh, extra capacity for parking cars and the extra capacity with the longer trains, we can start moving more people during the rush hour. Talk about bang for the buck. These platform extensions are huge. Currently, we operate uh, trains during the rush hour, and we carry the equivalent of another traffic lane on, on I-95. And so with all of our plans to add capacity, not only at this station, but also at, at stations along the Fredericksburg line, um, we'll be able to add uh, the capacity of another freeway lane on Interstate 95. Well, our long-range plans are to eventually run more trains, but until we have that ability to run more trains, adding this capacity of uh, additional rail cars, making our trains longer and making these platforms longer and, and really freshening up uh, all of the stations is really a, a great step for VRE to take to, to continue to grow VRE and carry more people.